This makes the narcissist go crazy. It makes them lose their minds. It makes them go insane. From the very first moment that you meet the narcissist, it seems like they're in a frenzy. In a state of uncontrolled excitement and wild behavior. Whether experiencing hysteria, mania or even derangement and dementedness. Where they've just suddenly lost control of their thoughts, feelings, actions or behaviors. And this begins when they first target you. Because in that moment they see you as being perfect. As something magnificent and impressive. So they feel drawn to you. They become fixated on you. To where they develop this obsessive attachment to you. And this is all arising from their envy. From their desire to have a quality possession or other desirable thing belonging to you. Which is why it isn't long until they begin to devalue you. When they realize that they can't be you or they can't have the qualities or possessions that you have and that is when they begin to hate it's when they begin to experience discontentment and resentful longing aroused by your possessions qualities or luck because their life isn't like that and they may have big themselves up in the beginning but that was just manipulation deception lies and future faking they already knew that they were no good for you. They knew they weren't on your level. But we often fall for the false character and we believe that what they're saying is true. But despite what they may tell you, they can never let you get too close. They have to keep you at arm's length. They have to keep you at a distance. Because otherwise the illusion would fall apart. You would see right through them. You would see how they're living. You would see how they manage their lives. You wouldn't want anything to do with them. But you don't even need to know what is going on in their lives. To recognize what you are dealing with. Just witnessing their behaviors should give you the information that you need. It should reveal to you that you are dealing with someone who is crazy. Someone who has lost their minds. Someone who is deeply envious of you. Because they're always trying to cheat you. They're always acting dishonestly and unfairly in order to gain an advantage. Which should already reveal to you that they see you as being greater than them. Because otherwise they wouldn't need to do that. There would be a level playing field. But they have to do that so that they can steal everything that they're envious of. Whether it's your qualities or possessions. They decide to take these things from you. Because just witnessing it is making them lose their minds. It's making them act crazy. Because they have an inferiority complex. They feel inferior to you. They feel like they could never measure up to you. They could never be good enough or as good as you are. Which is why they will swiftly move to the devaluation. They will insult you and put you down. They will become competitive. But they are constantly trying to outdo you. Which should reveal to you the problem. The thing that is constantly playing on their minds. Which is that you are who they want to be. You're who they wish they were. They wish they looked like you. They wish they could have what you have. They wish they were you. And they genuinely believe that if they could just push a button and be you, they probably would. Because there's clearly something eating away at them. There's something on their mind whenever they're around you. They feel very uncomfortable. And they believe that what they think would make them feel more comfortable and secure 
as if they could just trade places with you. Because if you look at it, that's what a lot of them are trying to do. They're users. They're always trying to take something from you. And by the end of it, a lot of them will even steal bits and pieces of you. They will begin to walk, talk and act just like you. But at the same time, they will try to destroy you. The very person that they've just stolen all of these things from. Because they look at it like there can't be two of you. It's either you or it's them. And it can't be you because they feel very uncomfortable with that. So they've got to take you out of the picture. So that they can continue striding along as though they are you. And that is when they will ghost you. They will suddenly disappear without a trace. And some of you might take it as though it had something to do with you. As though you weren't good enough. But that's exactly what they'd like you to believe. But the reality is that they ghost or discard you because they're envious of you. Because they feel discontentment and resentment around by your possessions, qualities or luck. They feel like it's unfair. As though they're more deserving of what you have. Even though they haven't done anything to earn it. But they've just made it up in their minds as though there's something. Because they just want what you have. They want to be you. Because they see it as though you're getting more success by doing what you do. And they're not getting anywhere by being themselves. So they lose themselves and they lose their minds. They take on your role and identity. Even while knowing that they're not about any of that for real. They're just posing as you so that they can get the attention and recognition that you would normally receive. Because all they care about is supply. Something to feed their ego and make them feel important. When the reality is that they're not important. They're nobodies. They're completely insignificant. But when they can get your attention it makes them feel like they're someone. Which is why they will often come back with the hoover. They will try to reunite with you again. But it's not because they care about you or miss you. They're just desiring to take something from you again. They just want to relish in that energy so that they can go off and do what they do. But sometimes they won't even hoover because they have too much ego and pride. They have to see themselves as being better than you because otherwise their own envy of you would destroy them. It would eat them alive. Which is why at the end of it they always have to find a way to control this thing that they are envious of. Which is why they will often triangulate you with other people. They will try to make you envious of them, or if that isn't enough to get your attention and keep you down, they will start a smear campaign against you. They will enforce their flying monkeys to do their bidding, to bully and harass you on their behalf, because these flying monkeys are narcissistic as well. They're equally as envious, because they all recognize that you're just a much better person than they are. You live a better life, you're more associated with better things. Which is why all they can do is try to bring you down to their level. Because it makes them feel more comfortable around you. When they can get you to relate or associate with things that should probably be beneath you. Because they're very low class. They're of an inferior standard and quality compared to you. And they don't want you to realise that you are actually very different. Which is the reason why they targeted you. You're nothing like them. They engage in activities and behaviours that you would never participate in. Such as cheating, lying, stealing and deception. And they know that they're different to you. They know you're of a much higher calibre. Which is why they have to try to relate to you. They have to try to find things in common. Which is almost like a paedophile trying to groom a child. Who they already know they have no business with. They have to trick and deceive you. 
they have to deliberately cause you to believe something that is not true for their own personal gain. They have to give you a mistaken impression. But if that doesn't work, they will just triangulate you. But even then, it's just more lies and future bacon. Because the reality is that they will never be on your level. You will always leave with a lot less than you came in with when you are dealing with these types of people. And they will always leave with more because they know you're greater and they're envious of that. It makes them mad. It makes them go crazy. It makes them very enthusiastic about you. And they may try to hide it, but they will often appear greatly provoked or irritated. They will be carried away by their enthusiasm or desire to be like you. And you may often recognize the discomfort and distress and you may try to play it down. You may represent yourself or their strange behavior as being less important than it is. You may try to minimize it. But they can see it when you do that. They're on to it. And that just triggers them even more. It makes them even more mad. Because it just tells them that something is seriously wrong with them. It reminds them that they're unable to act normally around you. Even though you may be a friendly, non-judgmental person. It just winds them up even more. And then they really want to destroy you. Because they don't want to be vulnerable. It's too painful for them to reflect on how worthless they feel when they're around you. Which is why they're in denial. They show an unwillingness to accept that something unpleasant about themselves is true. And they will never admit it to themselves. Instead they will enforce their flying monkeys and start a smear campaign against you. They will create a false reality and they will even try to turn the entire world against you before they're forced to accept that. But again, their behaviours. What they're doing to you should tell you everything that you need to know. That is your closure. That is your validation. Those are your answers. It's just not normal for someone to become so deeply involved and fixated on someone who they claim they don't like or who they say they want nothing to do with if that was true then you would just leave it alone you wouldn't keep going back to it but narcissists will because they're not in a sane state of mind and when they witness people like ourselves they just lose their cool they fail to maintain a calm and controlled attitude. They just can't hold themselves together around you because they're experiencing dissatisfaction in their own lives. And yet they badly desire a yearn for success, connection and affection from other people. And they don't get it or it doesn't fulfill them like it does for you. And they just wish that they could have what you have or feel what you feel. But they can't and it drives them insane. They feel like it's unfair, so now they want to make things unfair for you. They want to subject you to things that are not according to the principles of equality and justice, so they will do things that are below the belt, things that are immoral or illegal. And whenever someone does these types of things, it's always out of their own envy or jealousy, because they're desiring to take something from you. without replenishing you or giving you something of equal value in return. Which is why you will always be left feeling like you've been robbed. And that's just how another person's envy will leave you to feel. Like you're missing something or you've lost something. You're never going to feel satisfied or fulfilled around them because they're only desiring to take. And they will always take more than they deserve. while you will leave with less than what you had or than what you deserved. 
which will leave you feeling like you were cheated, deceived and lied to because you never should have been involved with them to begin with and they already know they don't belong anywhere near you they come around you only to manipulate and use you to drain you of whatever you have They don't come around you to build because they already know they're not going to be able to do that with you. So all they can do is present these false attitudes and behaviors as though they're on the same page while seeing you as something temporary, as just a means to an end. Because they know that once you figure them out, you're not going to want anything to do with them. They already know what type of person you are. They know that you value order and structure but their lives are in shambles. They're in a condition of great confusion, disorder and destruction, which is exactly how you're going to feel when you're around them, because they're not driven by duty or a God-given purpose. They're driven by envy, greed, jealousy and desire, which is why they give up on themselves a long time ago, and why they gave up on you the moment you started to figure them out. because they know you're nothing like them. They big themselves up to be something and in the end you got nothing, but you lost a whole lot. Even if it was just your happiness and peace of mind. Because you fell for the illusion when you were the prize all along and they know it. Which is why as soon as you catch on, then they want nothing to do with you. They only want people who they can trick and lie to. People who will believe anything that they say without asking questions because they're fake. They're not about anything substantial. They're nothing like you which is why they hate and envy you. Because they can't participate. They can't be like you. And they can't be anywhere near you. Without you seeing all of these things wrong with them and they try to disguise it or project it onto you. When it's them, they're not about anything. They have nothing, so all they're going to do is take or destroy you. And if you manage to dodge the bullet with one of these people, you can be sure that it's going to be someone else. Because they lack discipline and self-control, they can only hold it in for so long. And they're opportunists. So if they see an opportunity, they're going to take it. And it's just a result of how they live their lives. They have no pride or satisfaction in themselves. They have no motivation or drive. They're all over the place. They're confused and disorganized. They're unable to think clearly or act properly. And they're very lazy. They don't want to do the work. They'd rather just hate you and use you to their benefit. Because they already know that with the type of person that they are, they're not going to get very far. But they also don't want to cooperate with you. Because by default you would have to be in a position of authority over them. When they have no intentions of changing or being better. They want everything to come easy. They don't want to do the work, which is why many of them are actually quite comfortable where they are. And with the people that they're around, they only feel uncomfortable around you. Which is why there were so many arguments and fights, because they couldn't cope. They felt insignificant just by being around you, because they couldn't operate at your level. They couldn't do anything for you, so it caused a narcissistic injury. It made them feel worthless and it made them want to destroy you. Narcissists are very envious and jealous, which will result in them being competitive and trying to outdo you. But they may even try to take things from you or destroy you. And you may decide to harm them in return for what they did to you. Which is definitely something that you might be able to achieve if you really put your mind to it. But honestly, there's no point. 
it's just going to give them even more fuel to lash out at you or someone else and they're just not worth it. So they should not hold any importance or value to you because just by looking at their behaviours you should already know that they're not going to get very far. They're not going to amount to anything. They're never going to find happiness or fulfilment in anything that they set out to accomplish. So why even waste your time? Let them be the cause of their own demise. Don't stand in the way of their karma. Let them get what they deserve and don't leave any room for doubt that they are getting it because yes, they are getting their karma right now. They've been getting it long before you came around. That's what made them this way. Because they've been bottling up these feelings and emotions for a very long time and it's what has created the person that you see today. But don't even feel sorry for them. Because they will play on your empathy and compassion in order to take advantage of you. They made their bed, now let them lie in it. They chose to harbour these feelings towards you. Now let them accept the results of their actions. Maintain your distance. Recognise that envious people are very dangerous. There is no telling what they will do. Because they quite clearly had a very rough childhood. They may have experienced physical, sexual or emotional abuse. They may have experienced poverty or abandonment. And they may have had parents who were alcoholics or drug users. They were forced to function in a harsh environment. And that's what made them the person that they are today. And I understand that some of you may have had a similar upbringing. But you were able to cope. You managed to deal with it and get through it. But they were too weak emotionally. So now there's no love in their hearts. They just want to destroy you. Because they're envious. In their minds it's unfair. Because they've been through so much stuff in their life. They've had a hard life. Their life was full of difficulties, adversities and negative experiences. And they didn't have the tools to cope. And they didn't get even a fraction of what you managed to achieve. So all they can do is hate. Which is why you do need to be very careful. Because they will try to harm you. They can't stand people who present any sort of value. Because they feel worthless inside. They recognise that you may have had a sheltered upbringing. You were looked after. You were happy and comfortable. You felt safe and secure. You were seen as something of value. As something special. Or maybe you had God. Or you had self-love as a child. While they were disregarded and they constantly compared themselves to other children. And they felt like they were no good. Because no one valued or cared about them. They felt neglected because they weren't looked after. So they grew up despising anyone who was given a good life. Because they never had that. And the more that you try to love or help them. The more they will just end up hating and envying you. Because they already know that you shouldn't want anything to do with them. They already know that they're no good. And that they have nothing to offer you. When you're there for them, it just reminds them how much of a better person you are than them. Because if it was the other way around, they wouldn't be there for you. Narcissists are very envious, but they're also in denial. They're unwilling to accept that they are envious of you. Even while they may be desiring to take something from you. Because they're completely delusional. They're detached from reality. Which is why they will always have some reason or excuse for what they do to you. They will always have a false narrative. But it's just a disguise for who and what they really are. Because their narrative lies and excuses never line up with their actions and behaviours. It never justifies or seems fair or reasonable for what they do. Because 
because they're being fake. They're misleading you. Because they don't want you to know that they are in fact very envious of you. They hate you because they wish they were you. But they're not, so they're mad. Because it's you and not them. So they will use and abuse you. Because they're hurt. They're in poor condition through long use or lack of care. So now they act mean and unfair. They're bitter and resentful. And they're lucky to take it out on someone. Which is why you need to keep your circle small. You need to avoid anyone who has had a poor upbringing. Anyone who seems bitter. Anyone who has unresolved issues from the past. Because it's not going to lead you anywhere good. They will just see you as an object that exists to meet their unmet emotional or financial needs. They will just view you as a toy. As their emotional dumping ground. As something for them to play with. They're never going to respect you. Because they don't respect themselves. They're not going to value you. Because they've never had anything of value in their lives. And if they never even valued themselves enough to conduct themselves appropriately, what hope is there for them to value you? Or to give you the correct treatment? Which is why they will walk all over you. They will treat you like garbage. And if you're around them long enough, you will end up just like them. You will end up undervaluing yourself. You will begin to associate with them when you are meant for something greater. But sometimes, the trash will just take itself out. They will recognize that they can't get one over on you. And then you can just relax. But don't doubt yourself. What you got from them was exactly what they had to give to you. That was them. That was who they are. And you should be glad they're gone. Because it could have been far worse if you kept them around. It could have been far worse if they were in your immediate vicinity. Because you would have lost a lot more if you were involved with them any longer. Because all they were going to do is take from you. They're envious. And their envy makes them mad. It drives them insane. To where they can't even control themselves and when they're around you. So they try to control you. Because they assume that they can manage their envy by managing you. When in fact it just makes them even crazier. Because they're adding fuel to the fire. They're continuing to focus and fixate on the thing that they are envious of. They're giving energy to it. Which will only come back to destroy them in the process. Until whatever they thought they were. They will become a shell of who they used to be. They won't even recognize themselves. And it's all because they can't stand to witness you and your life. Your character and personality. Your qualities and virtues. The order and structure that you maintain in your life. The way you talk. The way you carry yourself. The love and care that you show for yourself. And everything that you have achieved. All of these things greatly bother and irritate them. They look at you and then they look at themselves and they go mad. They go crazy. So they act crazy. They lose their minds. Which is why you do need to be very careful out there. But now that you have this awareness you can protect yourself. By keeping your circle small and realizing that everyone is not for everyone. You quite clearly do not belong around certain types of people. People who are only going to end up hating and despising you. Because they're envious and their envy makes them dangerous. To where they have an agenda. They want to take out all of their past traumas, failures, disappointment and dissatisfaction with life on you. So be very careful. Only be around people who you can trust. People who have your best interest in mind. People who are on the same level. Because 
then they won't bring you down. They can't bring you down if they are at your level. Because they would already have to be beneath you to achieve that. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.